Hello again, here we are for round two. Um, I have lost the roll and, and I have been made to go second. Uh, my opponent is from from the uh, minute or so I had to scout all the other matches is seemingly uh, quite green the metal craft. Hopefully I'll get to show him how it's done with his, his Yuri's Brigade. His deck seemed uh, pretty solid. Although I'm hopefully he's not going to crack his order spell bomb right yet. Oh, more spell bombs. That's an interesting order to put them in. Now the question is, do I want to play Rustic right away, or do I want to play this Ravel right away? Uh, I'm going to play Ravel since he just made two spell bombs. I don't want him to crack them. Uh, I don't mind trading, like taking one hit from his uh, Glenog Idol more than I would have if I'd played Rustic first. Uh, Powerless Mur. I well, I can play his Yuri's Brigade next turn, which would be able to fight his Powerless Mur pretty efficiently. Hopefully, his last two cards are not like a rest. Oh, another Stratoscythe. That's uh, that's a little bit annoying. Uh, obviously, I don't have the removal for that right now. So hopefully he's uh, hopefully he's going to be a little bit strapped for uh, mana or ways to deal with this. Uh, I'm going to play this first. I probably should have played my uh, uh, I should probably should have kept the island up just to, to you know, to use that if the opportunity came up. But, uh, I was sort of distracted by saying, look, I played this island and then tapped it. Because, obviously, Stratosythe counts both players' basics, not just your own. Which is, obviously, uh, worth bearing in mind. So, you know, the if I'd uh, last turn, I'd have taken an extra point for zero gain. But uh, here we go. I can tap his guy with Rustic. If he doesn't answer the Rustic, then I can just keep on uh, untapping. So even if he gets fancy by moving around his scythe, I won't mind so much. Maybe he's going to crack his first bubble. No, it's a Mersmith. Yeah, his, his deck does look pretty solid, I have to admit. Uh, begin the combat, tap his uh, Perilous Mirror, not the Stratoscythe. It's very important to make that distinction. I think I will untap Perilous, thank you. Uh, although, unfortunately with uh, Mersmith, he can obviously tool up that. Still uh, not got Metalcraft, unfortunately. Uh, so I uh, uh, so clicked on that forest there. It wasn't really the best idea. So you can tool up his uh, Mersmith and hit me for 8, which is a lot. Uh, quite frightening, really. Although he didn't, which is nice. Hopefully, I can. I think. I, I I want to get Metalcraft, um, so I could like trade in the brigade. But I kind of draw another land here. I think um, I might want to crack over my flight spell bomb in a, an effort to get an answer to a permanent answer to the scythe. Because more, because as long as he keeps putting on artifact guys, it's fine. And as long as he doesn't draw an answer to rustic, it's fine. But if he does either of those things, I'm kind of in a bit of trouble. So, a corpse cur is is kind of a special one, but uh, it's got to be done.
I'm actually I'm actually gonna attack. I'm not gonna bother trading. I'm gonna swing in. I may have to dispense justice, which would be quite embarrassing. But uh, I'd, I'd like to think that the reason he's not playing anything is because he doesn't want to make me draw cards. So, like, even though my Verdian uh, Ravel has not actually drawn me any cards himself yet, what it has done is it's turned off his Origin Spell Bomb and Horizon Spell Bomb to a certain degree. Well, I mean, he's, he's getting to draw a card now, but so am I. And that can only uh, benefit me because I'm more likely to draw some uh, answers and everything. Oh, there's a, there's a slice in between. That's quite spicy. Well, uh, another benefit of having corpse cars. He if he tools up his Mersmith, and then I block with the corpse car. When I slice in twain uh, the the scythe, then his guy will die. Due to the counters being on him. Ah, he's tooling up his double straight guy. He's he's re he's really uh, hesitant about using his Mersmith. Which is fine by me. I can just destroy his scythe with combat. I'm gonna tap his perilous mirror again. I guess he's. I guess he's been treating this game as if the brigade's just going to slaughter him, which is pretty nice. I think I'm gonna accidentally, in your quotes, play this other forest uh, and swing in with my brigade. If he blocks, then obviously I get to mid combat slice in between, draw two cards, kill his guy. And I'll feel pretty good. It will. It will feel very nice. If this was uh, a previous draft I recorded, my opponent would be conceding right about now. But this guy's got a little bit more gumption. He thinks he can take me. Um, make this Horizon Spell Bomb. Keep up two blue. Might as well bluff the Stoker Bottle now. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty pretty good about this game. It took it was pretty delayed, but the Ravel is really hammering uh, him with all this uh, all the, the the spells I'm drawing. Because you know replicas turns up another two for one. Any other, uh, any time he if he sacks this, I get to draw a card. If he if this dies, I draw a card. Everything draws me a card. I'm just that's just how I roll. Let's tap like I could tap his idol. Yeah, like I mean if he swings with like Perilous Mirror and I block with Corpse Cur, that's fine. Do I want to keep his idol tapped down? Ah, so I, I, I like having the, the option of having it open. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to run this out there. It will ensure that no sort of gang block shenanigans is gonna render my Zuri brigade dead. And I actually threaten to murder him if he blocks wrong. Like if I used to tap this and kill this. 
you still have enough toughness to live. So I'm not going to be premature about it. Well, actually, how I meant to put it was that while the um, the brigade can die, so will his entire team. And while drawing me a couple of cards, because if I hmm, actually if I block it in the order, I click past the the blocker step there, didn't I? <laughs> what what I meant to do is block this guy, then this guy, then my guy would take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But I wouldn't have killed this guy, so I'm not entirely sure how I, of what order I blocked this in, because uh, I'm sort of still in old style mode where you uh, the same damage later on. Well, if it's in if it's in the right order, then I'm happy. If it's not, then I guess I can just blow up his a quarter shield after damage, and everything will be all right. But that was a little bit embarrassing. That's not really the way I wanted to went, wanted it to go. Uh, I don't even need to blow up a shield, I can blow up like Linhawk Idol. Yeah, so that that was pretty embarrassing. That's um I say not the, the optimal way that was supposed to go. But I guess I'll just have to make up with drawing a, a big bunch of cards. My real smithing beat down on. No point in playing Black Mambo. 